a reflection on bird collisions. Window glass is a major factor of death for migratory birds. Between 100 million and 1 billion birds die annually from collisions with glass. That's a staggering number. Glass windows in our homes are used to let natural light in and to allow us to view the outdoors. Although glass windows and sliding glass doors have been a part of our architecture for generations, they do come with a cost. Due to its transparent properties, glass may appear invisible and a nearby bird may decide to fly through the supposed opening. Or let's say the window reflects your backyard. To the bird, this may seem like a continuation of the tree line. Either way, this scenario won't end well. Unknowingly, the bird will collide into the glass, resulting in a tragic and unnecessary death. If the bird isn't killed from colliding into the glass, its injury may cripple its flight abilities, allowing outdoor cats and other local animals to have an easy flightless meal. So this video is for you, homeowners who want to make a difference without compromising too much. Before man-made structures existed in the deciduous forest area that is Northern Virginia, birds were able to carry out their natural migration patterns along with the many other instinctual habits they needed to survive. Now that humans and their homes are here to stay, it makes sense that we do our part to preserve nature and harm bird life as little as possible. To solve this problem, there are special types of glass that are bird safe. Birds can see it and will avoid it. It can replace the ordinary glass in your windows and sliding glass doors without detracting from the view of your backyard. However, helping out our feathered friends can come at a price, a high cost many homeowners are not willing to sh shell out. Want these windows? You'll have to remove the glass you currently have and buy new glass. You can purchase bird safe glass from a manufacturer at a cost slightly above ordinary glass. Although effective, replacing the glass in your office or home may be expensive, time consuming, and in many cases, not worth it. However, there must be a better and more cost effective way of helping our feathered friends avoid colliding into windows and sliding glass doors, right? Correct. There are numerous ways to prevent glass collisions that you can implement in your home. They're cheaper and more accessible than bird safe glass and will provide the benefits of specialized glass, allowing your traditional windows to stay. There are several categories of bird safe glass alternatives, ranging from barriers placed outside a window to chemical treatments or decals. We strongly encourage all Northern Virginia homeowners to take these effective approaches into consideration. And perhaps you'll want to implement one of these following approaches into your home. If everyone that watches this video follows one of these tactics, we can make a big difference. Let's start with barriers placed on the outside of glass. The barriers are placed there to reduce the impact if a bird runs into a glass surface. A bird screen is a screen that hangs separately from the glass on the outside of the window. This allows birds to have a bit of a barrier which will prevent them from flying directly into the glass. This method can be utilized on windows as well as sliding glass doors. Thin netting generally applied in gardens to deter birds from entering and on tree trunks to prevent woodpeckers from pecking can likewise be placed in front of windows for the same effect. Although more costly than the previous solution, netting is another tool that can potentially save the lives of our backyard friends. If screens and netting seem too unsightly for your home, Perhaps you may want to settle for a more attractive option. Window films made of polyester or anti-reflective vinyl are visible to birds and will discourage them from attempting to fly through a glass area. Covering an entire window with film will prevent light from reflecting off the window's exterior and will instead appear solid in a bird's field of view. Oftentimes, your yard can reflect off the outside of a window. To a passing bird, this can seem like a continuation of an open space so it would naturally fly into the window and meet its untimely demise. Film will eliminate this problem. Additionally, film will reduce the amount of ultraviolet light and glare in your windows. You'd be mistaken if you think that the film would prevent light from coming into your home. Thanks to the minuscule gaps in the film, plenty of light will be able to reach indoors. Still not convinced? Many window film providers offer tinting or decorative patterns of your choice, allowing this bird safe coating to double as embellishment for your residence. Similar to window films, small outdoor themed decals that reflect ultraviolet light will appear much more defined to birds than they do in the eyes of humans, and will generate the same effect that films do, causing the winged creatures to fly elsewhere, thus avoiding potential disaster. In other words, decals appear like bright shapes 
which birds can differentiate from the dark light reflected off of untreated glass, subsequently preventing birds from unknowingly flying into the glass. Seeking a more refined look, some decals can even resemble etched glass. Relatively cost effective and exceedingly easy to apply, decals present the perfect solution for many homeowners. Want the same effect without the decoration that comes with it? Maybe a liquid spray on your windows will fit the bill. Extremely visible to birds, but virtually impossible for humans to see, this might be the ideal solution for your home windows. If you want to play it even safer, why not try this liquid alongside an additional bird safety precaution that we suggested in this video. Tempera paint. A combination between a water-based pigment and a chemical-based agent can be applied to windows in various stencils and has the same effect on birds as window decals. Rainproof and easy to place, Tempera paint stencils are an, yet another excellent option. Another method you can use to deter birds from flying in the glass is hanging up thin lines or cord close to the outside of your window. These will break up the reflection in your windows, alerting the birds that there is a building there and not just open space. Nylon cords can be held to the top of the window with Velcro and then hang down the length of it. Thin strings of the same material as fishing wire can also serve the same purpose as cords and can be screwed into brackets hung outside of your window. Looking out your window, it is safe to say that these thin lines will not block your view of the great outdoors and you'll barely notice a difference. For birds, on the other hand, many lives can be spared at little expense to your wallet. Today, I'm trying this out on my own home windows. I've purchased a roll of paracord and some adhesive hooks. First, I measure and cut the paracord. One strip is the width of my window and the others are just shy of the length of it. I have to place them at least four inches apart, so I'm going to cut six strips. Now I'll melt the ends of the paracord so they don't fray, and then tie one end of each strip at 4 inch increments to the first strip I cut. The next step is sticking the hooks above the window. And lastly, I'll drip the cord I just tied together under the hooks and tie it into place. None of these bird safe methods fit your needs? Why not try tape? Special translucent window tape is yet another way to prevent bird collisions. Just like all the previous examples, tape will warn the birds of the existence of glass by disrupting its reflection while still allowing light to pass into your home. Relatively inexpensive and simple to install and tailored to the size and shape of your window, tape may just be the bird safe option for you. Before you try any of these methods on your own windows, it's important to note that items such as decals, cords, strings, and netting must be placed at specific intervals in order for birds to register them. The 2x4 method is the standard across the board. With the 2x4 method, objects placed in rows are roughly 2 inches apart, while objects placed in columns are approximately 4 inches apart. For example, if you were to hang nylon cords in front of your window, it should be at least 4 inches apart. This homeowner opted for bird safe tape that is 2 inches by 2 inches apart. Want decals? Make sure they're no less than 2 inches apart horizontally and 4 inches apart vertically. This is crucial! because if they're any further apart, a bird might decide it's large enough to fly through and continue on its way. Another thing to keep in mind is that a bird may not recognize anything smaller than one eighth of an inch. What doesn't work to prevent glass collisions? A single decal on a window will not prevent collisions as the rest of the glass will still reflect the outdoor area or appear invisible to birds just as much as a regular window. So you might as well just not even try this. Additionally, plastic predators such as owls, hawks, and cats also don't work, as they don't fool birds for very long. So don't waste your funds buying them. Instead, invest your time and money into other methods. Last of all, if none of these tactics work for you, placing a bird feeder close to the window will alleviate the collisions. The birds will land on the bird feeder instead of the windows. Additionally, using blinds or curtains in daytime and nighttime will darken the windows, reducing their reflectivity. With all this in mind, I sincerely hope you decide to make a difference. Try one of these strategies to reduce bird collisions yourself, and please make sure you share this video with your neighbors and other local homeowners. Although this may be one of the many issues the Audubon Society of Northern Virginia is focused on, your dedication to protecting our area's local bird population may be the difference between the life and unethical death of one of these creatures. I'm Elliot Frank, a Boy Scout from Troop 152 in Vienna, Virginia, and this video is my Eagle Project. I'm an aspiring videographer and video editor hoping to study video and film in college. The majority of the Eagle projects I help my troopmates with 
consist of intensive manual labor building structures for local organizations. For those watching, this may seem like an unconventional ego project, and you're right. I wanted to combine my passion for filmmaking and my love for birds to create a lasting impact on Northern Virginia's bird population. I'd like to thank the Audubon Society of Northern Virginia for helping me create this video on their behalf, and for providing access to my video on their website, which you can visit at audubonva.org. I'd also like to give a huge thanks to everyone who helped me in the creation of this project. Thank you for watching.